If you would turn there with me to Romans 2 this morning, you know we're not in the fun part of the book of Romans right now. It's not very positive. It's not very uplifting. Um, you would have thought what Paul said the last three weeks that Mike covered in Romans 1, 18 through 32 would have been enough to lay out who we are as fallen image bearers, who we are as sinners under God's wrath. And you would have think Paul would have been able to move on, but he doesn't. Uh, this section dealing with sin goes from 118 all the way up to 320. So we're going to be parked here for a while. Thankfully have some Thanksgiving messages and such sprinkled in, but uh, we're not in the fun part of Romans. Paul is being very thorough in laying out who we are as as sinners. And uh, again, you would have thought everything he said uh, the last three weeks would have been enough. But lo and behold, there are those who would have objections and questions and still need to be convinced that they uh, will be the recipients of God's wrath, believe it or not. And that's what we'll see today, Lord willing, by God's grace. So let us go to the Lord in prayer and ask his help as we open his word um, again this morning. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we do thank you so much for just the truths that we, we sang. We sang about your goodness. We sang that Christ is mine forevermore. We sang about that great throne room scene of Revelation 5. We're worthy as the lamb who was slain to receive glory, honor, and power. And, and he will be our song forever. And it is well with our soul. Lord, we thank you for those great truths. We, we need reminded of that daily, if not hourly, if not minute by minute. But Lord, as we open your word this morning and look at what Paul has to say, your, your chief apostle, your apostle to the Gentiles, yet he will have a message. 